Hi everyone, welcome back to Plumber Part Time. I'm here with Joshy Boo today. Hello. Qualified gas boy, Splud. Yeah, baby. Today, what we'll be looking at is a new Navian condensing combi boiler. It's also got a cool little Navi cert that comes in the box with the boiler, which effectively allows us to have a secondary return on a combi boiler, which I think is something, have you heard of that? I've never heard of it. Yes, yeah, so this is a totally new thing. <laughs> Hold up, this beast can even supply three showers at once. What we're going to do in today's video is we're going to unbox it. We're going to show you what's in the box because even we don't know what's in the box yet. And then we're going to hang it up on the wall. We're going to have a look at the flue. We're going to have a look at the Navi Cirque as well. Do a little bit of pipe work and talk about how this works and features of the border itself as well. So let's get on with video. What do we say, Josh? Hold tight. Hold tight. Let's Hold get on with it, baby. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. So firstly, it's a lovely box. Navian condensing gas boiler. Beautiful. NCB 700. 700. The NCB 700. Yeah. Like, they should just call it Dave <laughs> or something. Yeah. Call the boiler Dave. Oh, what are you fitting? I'm fitting a Dave today. Has Hacker open and have a look inside anyway. Come on. This knife's got a special feature. Oh, let's have a look at that. Yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Yeah. So the whole thing of like, you shouldn't use a blade. Well, look, I didn't use the edge of the blade. Right, open the beast. Oh. Oh, very Check nice. Nicely packed as well, actually. Look, look at this. Lovely. It's a nice one, isn't it? So that would look nice in a, in a kitchen, wouldn't it? Or up yeah. on the wall. Boilers now are starting to look a bit more fancier, aren't they? Yeah, they're not just white goods anymore, are they? No. Uh, you've got a nice little boxy bit. There's a bracket. The bracket. The instructions, very, very important. Always read them. Big old screws as well. Let's put them somewhere safe because you have to read the instructions. Look at this. <laughs> you've got your expansion. Expansion vessel brute. Um, How are we going to do this? I think probably put it on the floor. Put it on the floor again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm grabbing it by the... Well, they don't mean it to get damaged, put it that way. Now, Josh, how many gas boilers have you fitted in your lifetime? Uh, too many. H how many, roughly, do you think? Over 300, I would say. 300? Yeah, literally. That is a lot, isn't it? Because I used to do gas, and that's the reason I've got you here today, is because you're going to be the man who says to me, oh, that's good, or, or I'll do something different there, all right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. So let's have a look at the bum of it, shall we? I'll call it the bum, this bit. So look, so what we got here then, Josh, you are? Any well, the one thing I have seen is that the PRV is external. Ah, very which nice. Which is perfect, and it's just literally just a little... Clip off that. Yeah, which is great. I assume that's condense. That must be a, a, a trap. Yeah, so you can clean it out. Nice easy trap clean. Because everyone obviously um, cleans the condensed trap out, don't they, on a service? Yes, they should do. Right, the instructions, or as I used to call them, the destructions. It's in colour. Uh, I like that. No, oh, gas inlet is up here. The good, the good thing would be... I like to see that as well. Yeah, you know, it's, me, been tested. it's been tested properly then when it's got water in it. But it would be good to know, to see if these actually twist, which it looks like they've actually oh, yeah, they've cut made it, around it, which is yeah, great. Yeah, they've hexed around that. Yeah. So you've got all your fibre washers in here nicely as well. Now, Jimmy, are you someone oh. who, um, who pastes <laughs> their fibre yes. washers? Yeah, of course. So, Josh, what are you doing at the moment? What are you building up? I'm building the filling loop up at the moment. Yeah. And you're using the instructions to do it. I yeah. am, yeah. Getting the valves piped up literally takes seconds because you just follow the instructions, do as you're told, you'll be absolutely fine, everything goes together nice and easy. Right, does it, oh yeah, in the instructions, does it come with a template? Well then you can get all your pipes in nicely, you like you're coming up to the then bottom. Then it'll tell you where the flue goes exactly. Oh yes, this is proper. Well, it's thick paper isn't it? Isn't it? <gasps> this is, oh look, you could cut this up, we could put some nice, uh, just like poetry. Yeah. Boiler poetry. It's showing what the outlets are. Again. Yeah. You've got live earth it. neutral connections. It's telling you all the minimums, so that's good. And tells Five you if you're going sides. out with it. Yeah, that's really good. It's good. All right, well, look, let's get the beast hung up quickly and then we can, well, we'll pop the front cover off the boiler, something that most people should never do, and just have a little look inside. I just want to see what's inside it yeah, yeah. more than anything else. <laughs> Hold on, Josh, I'm short, mate. Are you all right, mate? I'm all right. On you go. Oh, it's like a radio. See you on? Are you on? I think I am. Yes, I am. There is a fixing at the bottom as well. I like the fact you can just have that up there. Get your Stanley. Let's, let's trim that off now. Come on, boy. <laughs> Don't hit me. Where's your Stanley you gone? Oh, it's just one of those days. Where is it? It's in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's always in my pocket. I laughed it. 
I didn't know where it was now. Right, let's have a little gander inside the beast. Oh, so it says that it's got a protective cover here that protects the nice sheen on the front of the beast. We've got a couple of these little toggles up here. I like that. Is that normal? Well, no, not at the top. It's got a case seal around it as well. Okay, so straight off, a few little things that like you would always pick out of. There are always certain things in boilers if you go and like look at them. Like I do oil, you know, that's my sort of bread and butter work, which is why I only like a certain type of oil boiler. Yeah, so anything that pips jumps out at you straight away? Well, obviously the first thing would be the expansion vessel. Easy to get at. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, just, yeah, you just take that little pull ring that clip off out. and then pull the whole thing that out. Whole, that whole bit comes out. Yeah, Easy to test nipple right on the front as well. Yeah. You. The PRV, which is easy to get at. Yeah, other than that, it's fairly um, just sort of all right on the front, isn't it? Standard sort of stuff then, Josh. You quite pleased, happy? Yeah, yeah, quite pleased. I like that also their data badge is like not hidden behind here. Or yeah, like on the side. Right under here. You have to get your or... phone out and get it around the corner and take a photo. So many it. photos have I got yeah. of just serial numbers <laughs> for that reason. Yeah. Should we uh, grab the flu? Let's grab the flu and pop that on. So yeah, standard flu. So we've got a balanced flu. And for those of you who don't know, a balanced flu is when the air intake to be combusted is on this outer bit here and the combusted air, the combusted gases on the inner pit here going out. The flue attachments on these are pretty much standard, screwing into the top with an airtight foam seal onto the boiler casing and standard rubber vein seals for the balance flue as well. So all very straightforward. Right then, so we've got the boiler on the wall. Obviously, we don't actually have gas supplies in here. Uh, and also, because of where this room is, we can't exactly just sort of bash a flue through the wall. I'm pretty sure the people I rent this studio off wouldn't be very happy if I did that. We're just going to show you, almost rather than drawing it, we thought we just want to do a bit of pipe work, don't yeah, we? Yeah, just do a bit of plumbing. Why not? We want to do a bit of plumbing. Yeah. We're going to put the radio on, we're going to listen to what I want to listen to. So yeah, right, so we're going to get piping up now. You guys can just watch. We might have a chin wag, we might not. But enjoy, that's all I will say. Let's get on with it. Let's move the table first. <laughs> oh, yeah! with the Navian as well is a small expansion vessel that we put on the cold supply. It's just nice to know that they've supplied those extra little bits. Loads of pressure on Josh here, soldering live on pump, well pretty much live on pump parts. Easy mate, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Yeah, that's passable, mate. Thank you. Now we're going to show you how the Navi Cirque aids fast delivery of hot water without wasting time or wasting water. So, Josh has done some beautiful pipe work. So have I. Yeah. I think my solders are slightly more sloppy, actually. Well, yeah. no comment. This is kind of like one of the sort of main bits of this install, this boiler. Uh, the Navian comes with the Navi Cirque, which is in this box here. So if we open this up and have a little look. Oh, yes. This is like the mounting plate that comes with a little 3M pad as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're not going to need to use this today because we've already got a nice flat bit of wall that we can get onto. A couple of screws in there as well, eh, Joshy Boo? Yeah, it's nice. Have a little look at that, mate. See what we got in there. Oh, so that's the Navi circuit itself. So these connections are hot in, return warm water to the boiler, hot out, and capped off on this installation design. It's almost like a bar mixer type That's it. thermostatic valve, isn't it? So what we're going to do is we're going to install this now, how we'd install it. Obviously, there's no water running through this. There's no gas or anything like that. But we thought it'd be a good idea for you to see how to do it. So whilst Josh is installing the Navi Cirque, why don't we learn how it works and also where it would fit on our system when installing it? Firstly, when we're in normal, say, recirculation mode, the boiler's recirculation pump will operate and the check valve moves to the right and opens, creating a loop going up through our hot pipe and then back on our return cold pipe to the Navian boiler. 
you may notice here that the top right outlet is capped in this drawing. We'll come to that in a sec. When the water flowing from the boiler through the hot pipe reaches the navi circ and it gets to 35 degrees, the bimetal disc inside the navi circ will automatically close. This prevents overheating and unnecessary operation and also saves you a bit of money. At this point, the boiler recognizes the water flow has stopped flowing and cuts off. In this video, we're installing the navi circ as if it was on a system like this here. This will be a fairly common way that you'll see a navi circ installed. Now, by all means, press the pause button so you can have a good look at this drawing. But you could also install the Navi Circ on the pipework at the furthest point, but without connecting to a tap, just like in this schematic drawing here. And then piping it up in accordance with this schematic drawing, from an end user perspective, it will work in exactly the same way. This is the, the new thing. This is the bit that we unboxed earlier on and it's the other part, the other component to the whole system, isn't it? That kind of makes yeah. this happen. So where you'd normally put this is in the furthest away draw off hot water point in the house. For me, I'd put this under my kitchen sink. So I've put isolation valves on because if you ever need to, because there's a cartridge in there, if you ever need to change it, then you want to obviously cut the supply off. It's probably a really good idea, especially get full ball ones, uh, so it doesn't restrict the flow. But then it looks like there's some just some screws here that you can just undo and then take the take cartridge out. out. Yeah. Uh, we've obviously got our outlet. This is our hot outlet up to the tap. Our cold outlet to this tap would be served by another cold pipe. Um, so effectively, you've still got to have that extra pipe on the system to make the secondary return happen, but you'll still need those extra pipes out as a loop for the secondary return. That is the bit that I struggle to sometimes say to my customers, if I'm gonna do a secondary return install, you're gonna have to have that extra pipe. If you're putting one of these on a new build, you're gonna have thought about that already and all those pipes are gonna be laid in there ready to go. Yeah, nice, neat little unit. And I like the fact they added that little mounting plate. So if you're gonna put it, I think it might be like, if you're gonna put it on the back of maybe a vanity unit or something, yeah. you don't wanna screw into it or something or other. Yeah, it's a good idea because there are, there are things when you don't wanna like screw into, you mm -hmm. know, and if it's like a nice, I don't know, it's inside a cupboard and it's like a, you know, a really thin cupboard. Yeah, you don't then... wanna screw into that, especially them, the little six mil bit of yeah, exactly. MDF. So then after a lovely little bit of pipe work, uh, also we turned the boiler on so you can see the screen and everything. John she, as a gas boy, one of the gas beasts out there, what are your initial thoughts? My initial thoughts? Actually, do you know what? I'm actually quite impressed. And it's like a standard size. It's not too big, not too small. Yeah, I like the toggles on the top. Stuff like that makes things easy to get on and off sometimes. Yeah. It, can, it can be difficult getting border cases on and off. No combi border that I know of has a secondary return. No. I mean, I know we still have to put the extra pipe in and all that sort of stuff, but yeah. that's the nature of the beast. But with combi boilers, having that instant water being heated, but also now hot water quickly coming out of your tap, mm. it's extra saving, isn't it? I think it's also because it's, it's internal, as in the pump is internal, mm. it's all to do with the boiler, so it's talking to itself all the time. And it's not like a case you've got an external pump that you know you have to then keep an eye on or you have to put that on a separate time or anything yeah it's all within the boiler well and the and the the navi circ down there mm. simple to fit easy to i mean we put valves on it so it's easy to service but yeah no i was really really pleased with it i mean really impressed any um any spec stuff having now now that you've read all the specs on it anything that sort of stood out well the good thing is um the boiler you can have on natural gas or lpg the other thing is it's hydrogen ready. Yeah. So obviously for the future of being hydrogen ready is like a real big thing for the UK. So, and the other thing um, apparently comes standard with a 12 year guarantee, which is great because yeah. on this market, especially with boilers, it's all down to you know warranty. Especially in a world where a lot of boilers only last 10 years. Yeah. So they really back themselves there, don't they, they, they with a 12 year guarantee, that is pretty decent. The other features I liked is, so when you take the case off is, everything's accessible. Sometimes you get boilers that are all compacted and you can't ever get anything. I'm gonna take the case off. That's a good idea. So one of the major things I really like about it, you've got like the pressure relief valve. The condensed trap is also something that's really easy. Yeah. As part of a service, we would, you know, clean them out. Yeah, easy to get off. The um, the other thing is this keyless filling loop. Yeah. You know, this is a, this is a real good feature. And then also, They've got a filter on the actual, so this will be for your secondary return as well. You can clean that out. And then also you've got your external pressure gauge. Another thing with other boilers is their pressure gauges are always internal. So then you have to take the case off to then find that. So it's good that they've got that there. And everything, you've got isolation valves everywhere, which is exactly what you need. So yeah. it's... Um, I mean, everything, like you say, everything at the front's really easy to get at. I mean, one thing I really like is this little thing here. So you pull that out and it pops the fuse out so you can work on it. 
That is it's good. like an extra safety feature, isn't it? That yeah. Every wire has got a little sticker on it telling you where it goes. Something that probably costs nothing. Probably something that they didn't even, I don't know, most border manufacturers probably didn't even think that would help. It's probably for their own workers. Yeah. But for us, it's, uh, it's quite handy to know what wires go where. To finish off and to reiterate, the NCB700 is the first gas boiler to have a built-in flow adjustment valve and auto mixing valve to supply constant temperature hot water. This is done by a flow adjustment valve slowing down the water if it is not hot enough but with a mixing valve to cool down the water to give the constant temperature of hot water. The boiler has an overall TDR or turn down ratio of 15 to 1 allowing a wide range of modulation. When a house extension project comes up where a combi boiler is already installed this boiler allows another combi boiler to be used for any extra bath or shower rooms that are added so there is no need to change to a system boiler and find the extra space for an unvented cylinder. So remember this boiler can serve up to three showers at once. It has a built-in domestic hot water recirculation pump for super fast hot water delivery, a state-of-the-art flow adjusting valve and auto mixing valve for hot water comfort, flow rates of up to 22 litres per minute, an ASME certified stainless steel heat exchanger, an easy to use built-in digital display panel, ERP A plus energy efficiency rating when used with a single smart plus room thermostat, a 12-year warranty, it's hydrogen ready and comes with a Navifil keyless filling link. So there you go. And one thing to remember as well, if you are going to have one of these boilers, make sure that you properly insulate all the pipe work, especially on a secondary return. It's so important. Yeah. Otherwise you'd be losing loads of heat into the floor voids and all that sort of stuff. Oh, the other thing, Jimmy, I've seen this a lot, is people do their secondary return in plastic and it's not barrel pipe. Yeah. So then everything just becomes very brittle and then they just get pinholes. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video, guys. You've learned a little bit about these boilers. It's not 100% how to install a boiler or anything like that. We're not allowed to tell you that sort of thing. But you do now know about this boiler. It does exist. So check it out. We'll leave all the links and everything below to Navian's uh, website so you can find out about them and hopefully buy them and shove them in your own home. Should we go to the pub now, Josh? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the subscribe and remember to hold, hold tight. tight. See you soon. WhatsApp's probably going to be the place as well that I'll share all the behind the scenes stuff. So what I'll probably do over the next few days, some of you this will probably matter to, some, probably most of you this won't matter because most of you are behind the scenes members already. Um, but we'll keep the 